Go, 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 place your bets. One's gonna die immediately. <laughs> the horses just got stuck on each other. Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. We're still doing sandbox mode, viewer suggestions, things like that. First off, we got Luke Morton, he says, uh, Zombie survival, one man army, and squad of knights, footmen versus army of peasants. So we're gonna have a small squad of knights, which he did as the footmen. Let's see, maybe we'll just do, uh, we're just like a little square of them? I don't know. Well, we'll probably just do, let's just do t nine of them. Versus an army of peasants. Let's see, maybe, maybe let's go with 28 and see how they do. So it's like a zombie apocalypse. We have these footmen. They're well organized. Well, they were well organized. They're kind of spread out now. That guy's gonna die over on the side there. He's gonna get overrun immediately. But these guys might stand a better chance. Just laying waste. Oh, come on, buddy, get a couple of them. Oh, he took two of them down. He's he's hugging that dude's head. <laughs> Look at this. Well, that guy's actually dead. Look at this guy. He's oh my god. This is the single best footman ever. Look at all these people he took out. What a freaking badass. Oh man, okay. I think it's because that guy died in his arms and he was using him as like a human shield. Let's add a couple more. Let's bump it up to 39 and see if they can continue to do well. Just our nine little knights. Go get them, guys. Look at them run. Right, they're actually staying a little more organized this time. They just slice through. Are any of them actually gonna die this time? That guy, oop, he's getting a little bit surrounded there. They're coming for him. Ooh, they just can't get their, their little arms around their heads. Oh, okay, one down, two down. Wow, okay, so we actually lost six of our guys. So only three of them prevailed. A little bit better. I think a few more zombies will do it. Let's add just some randoms to the outskirts. And just kind of break up the pattern a little bit. All right, 51. Wait, what's 51 on? It seems like a lot. Look at them all coming. The zombie horde. Okay, here they go. They're getting into it. Oh, one guy's by himself again. Oh, he's going down immediately. He only took out a couple of them. Yeah, this might be too many for our poor little uh, squad of zombie survivors. Oh, this guy's holding his own. He's, he's kind of taking some of the pressure off these five. They're still doing it. Wow! There we go, added even more 66. This is gonna be it. This is gonna be the end of our little band of survivors over here. Here they come, look at them all. Oh my god. So many- Oh, what the heck? Where did that sword go? That's <laughs> just a sword go flying up in the air. That was insane. Oh yeah, there's way too many of them, guys. These two are holding out. Ooh, these two are doing well. <laughs> there's a red guy in there somewhere? Look at him! He's still alive! How is he still alive? <laughs> how how is he? Oh my god! Look at all of them, dude. <laughs> That's these physics in this game are so weird. <laughs> it's so stupid. He should not be alive. Oh no! He finally died. Oh, one guy left. We'll leave him as the sole survivor of the peasant zombie apocalypse. And Robo Jirachi. Wants uh, barbarians, boxers, and ballistas versus chariots, catapults, and cannon crews. So it's B's versus C's. I like it. So we're gonna have uh, barbarians and boxers. Maybe just like, uh, should I make them organized or just? Oh no, I know what we'll do. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have bar uh, boxers, barbarians, and we need some ballistas. Kind of make it look like a B. There we go. <laughs> it's kind of a B, right? And then we're gonna have uh, chariots, cannon crews, and catapults. Where are the catapults? There we are. Oh, this, honestly, this might be tough. I'm not sure. All right, B's versus C's. Go get them. Yeah, those chariots are just gonna ram immediately. But that is a lot of barbarians and a lot of boxers. Ooh, those chariots did work. Holy crap. All right, I took out one of our catapults. These guys haven't started firing yet. Come on, guys. Fire. They've got one ballista left. Ooh, there it goes. Oh yeah, the ballista's out of commission. The chariot is still flipping around, distracting all their boxers. That's all they have left are boxers. The barbarians get taken out immediately. Are both our catapults out of commission? This guy looks fine. I, he might just be stuck on the other guy, but... Ooh, hit him! Oh! Okay, what? Well, look at these. These three are just hugging each other. They're gonna get smacked right in the face. I'm gonna try and screenshot at the perfect time. Oh! <laughs> Guys, just shoot them! What are you doing? <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't seem to get out of there. Those are some serious flanking maneuvers. <laughs> and then you start punching it. What the hell was that? It just flipped in the air. Oh, man. We got one boxer versus a catapult. <laughs> he can't get to it. Oh my god, one boxer won it for the bees. That was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. So there you go, bees win. And then the Bootsy123 has a cool idea, basically protect the villager. So we're gonna have just uh, peasants way off in the back. And we're gonna make the rule that the first person, the first uh, side to lose their peasant loses. And so I think maybe we'll do like boxers versus farmers. Just something simple like that. And then we'll just have them right up here with each other. So hopefully they'll have time to engage for the peasants actually uh, get into the fight. But whoever loses their peasant first loses. So we're gonna have to pay attention. Ooh, yeah, I think the farmers might win it. <laughs> <laughs> They've got quite the advantage, but if uh, we can get over to their peasant first. Okay, here's the red peasant. Oh, he's getting in a fight. He's getting in a fight. And oh, blue peasant's down. Uh, yep, I'm pretty sure the blue peasant went down first. So, reds win. <laughs> Even though theirs went down too. Nope, reds win. Uh, almost positive I saw him go down first. I'll double check in the footage, but we're going to give that to uh, the reds. To make that a little bit more fair, we're going to do that again. But we're going to uh, give them all the same people. I like the boxers. I think they're funny. So we're just going to give them a full line of boxers. Right there. And then the line here. I'm actually going to redo the left side. There we are. So two full lines of boxers with the peasants on the outside. There they go. About to smash into each other. They're, they're getting all stuck on each other, I'm realizing. I got to keep an eye on the peasants. So I'm going to like just stay uh, zoomed in like this. <laughs> They're slowly getting there. Don't know who's gonna win it. Alright, the reds are retreating to protect their peasant. Actually, are all the blue boxers down? Oh, get him. Oh, is he gonna go down? Oh, yep. Alright, and there's the red peasant, so reds win! And some people did like the 1v1s that we did with the boxers. <laughs> so, uh, maybe we'll test that a bit some more with some of the different random characters. We'll start with the peasants, see how they do. Are they just gonna lose? Is the game gonna be over immediately? Ooh, red victory! Now, people have said that the Reds, since you play them in campaign, they have a higher chance of winning. So I guess this would be a good time to test. We'll do the Peasants three times and see if the Reds win every time. And boop! <laughs> Aw, they're, they're kissing. Oh, no, Blue wins. Okay. Because if it is truly random... Oh, God, he's stepping right in his groin. Then it should be random. I mean, we're not going to take it a big enough data set to actually accurately tell if it is random. Because that would take, like hundreds of trials and I don't really want to do that but who's gonna win it now who's gonna win it now <laughs> they're playing a little little game of grab ass red wins all right so maybe it trades off every other time now we're gonna do farmer v farmer get in there guys start pitchfork it ooh there, ooh right there that was pretty cool their pitchforks actually kind of lock in like that let's give them another fight good old farmers they always seem to like start in slow motion here they come. That depth of field thing is a little weird. Poke, poke. Oh, that was a good little parry. Parry block, parry block, parry, parry block, block. Now the barbarians are going to be interesting because they hold their weapons really high like that. So they're just going to try and crack each other in the head. Oh, <laughs> they're like, they're like fish dancing in the waves. Come on, somebody. Oh, got a good smack there on the blue guys. Oh, oh, get him blue. Yeah. Oh, great job, buddy. Look at him go. He's like, I won! Yay! And another person asks, this is something that people want to see pretty often, just uh, the maximum amount of ballistas we can do against other ballistas. So let's check that out. I wanted to, oh, I was going to do a one-on-one -on -one with the chariot, so it's kind of like a joust. We'll do that after, if I remember. <laughs> so let's see, we have, uh, put eight on e these sides. So we'll do 16 v 16. We'll, we'll start with that and uh, grow from there. Well, it changed my mind. We'll do 24 v 24. <laughs> oh, man. Well, it's like the cannons we did last time, but the bosses do have splash damage. Oh, oh my god! Did you... <laughs> they all fired at like, the exact same time. That is really loud. It's like peaking the audio levels. Oh, man. <laughs> this is ridiculous. 
Oh, jeez. Uh, everything is exploding. They're all shooting at the same people. Are the back ones even firing? Yeah, they're within range. There goes a tire flying up in the air. Oh, we're getting some uh, weird issues with the, the rubber banding. Little dude's sticking up in the air. The screen shake is unbearable. Oh, man. See, if I zoom out, does it stop? Nope, still does it. <laughs> this is... This is taking forever. They're really not, like, changing targets. I can't imagine they're really missing. I mean, this fire rate. I'm thinking... Why are they... They're all shooting at the same gr uh, little gr uh, groups or gaps. They're not really changing targets. Not sure what's happening here. Well, they've been at it for a few minutes now with no real end in sight. So you know what I think will fix it? We'll just chuck some chariots in there. You know, that... <laughs> That might make everything better. <laughs> Don't know how chariots, if they can even get through the blisters. <laughs> oh, go oh God, I'm breaking the game. What is going on here? I I am busting it, man. <laughs> all the chariots. Oh, look at all the wheels from the ballistas. Are they even, there's a couple ballistas still firing. I can't even tell what's going on. Like some of these ballistas are okay. Some of them aren't. Which ones are firing? I'm hearing a ballista fire. Okay, this guy over here is firing. So we have two ballistas firing at each other, and that's about it, it looks like. So, can they... I don't think they can actually reach each other, so this might be a stalemate. Shouldn't they, like, move their ballistas to get within range? Yep, this is a stalemate. Alright, well... <laughs> there goes that. And now we'll just finish off with what I forgot to earlier. 1v1 jousting with chariots. Go, go, go! Place your bets! One's gonna die immediately. <laughs> They just got stuck on each other. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, where's the blue guy? What the heck? Was he ever there? <laughs> There's nobody in that chariot. Did he fall out or something? Did he go below the ground? What the heck <laughs> is going on? Oh, There's nobody in the chariot. Oh, no. Oh, uh, this just seems like another endless cycle. We keep getting these stalemates. They just go on forever. Ooh, now they're... Ooh, red victory. There you go. Sounds good. Well, that's going to be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. Make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy and want to see some more in the future. I'll see you next time. Bye.